Welcome to Lori Farm. Today we're going to go over different chicken breeds and what to expect. Easter Eggers are a fun chicken to add into your flock. They generally lay uh, blue, green, pink, or brown eggs, which is why they're called Easter Eggers, because you're going to get a variety of Easter colored eggs. Very friendly, good to have around kids, very docile, and generally just a good chicken. Leghorns are a really great breed to add for egg laying because they're one of the most common egg laying chickens. They lay the most eggs. They um, lay the bright white eggs. They're a very hardy breed. They're good in heat and in cold. They're not super friendly though. They pretty much like to be left on their own. So they're a good backyard chicken if you just want them to go around and forage and give a great amount of eggs. Cinnamon Queen is another breed we have. That is the one we call Vivian. She tends to get into a lot of hijinks and gets herself into trouble. She sneaks into the barn and eats up the cat food, but it does fit for her breed because they are a very friendly, docile breed. They lay large brown eggs and they're a very sweet bird. And then also Bard Rock also lay the large brown eggs and they're a very friendly bird also. The only downside to the Bard Rock that we've run into over the years is they tend to get more egg bound than any other breed that we've ever had. So we have had a little bit more of a struggle with that, which may have something to do with the large eggs that they lay. Amberlinks are a very friendly bird with medium brown eggs. They're very hardy, good in cold and heat. Um, they lay year round. They're, they're, they don't really go through um, a non-laying season. They are very flighty, so they will fly up and roost up in trees sometimes and also just up on any perches they can find. But they are a very friendly bird. I really like them. They're uh, pretty white to a little bit of cream color on them. Just a really nice egg producer year round. They do have a shorter lifespan because they produce more consistently than other chickens. Buff Orpingtons are a good dual purpose chicken, which means they're good for meat and also egg laying. They're a calm, docile chicken. They pretty much keep to themselves. They're very gentle. If you're looking for a chicken that you want to climb up onto your lap and be just like a pet, an Orpington is a really good fit. They're great with kids. They'll jump on your lap and let you pet them. Uh, the more you play with them, the more they'll follow you around. Their eggs are a large, light brown color. Sapphires are a really pretty bird, which is why I actually picked them, as they have that beautiful bluish gray look to them. They're very vocal after they lay an egg or when someone else lays an egg. They get very excited and they're very loud. They're a very friendly, sweet um, bird. They're a good egg producer. They're really good in cold weather and they are good in heat also. They do lay large brown eggs similar to the amber lynx and they get along with all the other chickens perfectly. They're a really docile sweet bird. And the Australorp, which is a fun chicken to add to a flock because they're all black, even their eyes, which I think is pretty neat. They're a very friendly chicken. They lay brown, light brown eggs also. Friendly and docile, they do great in cold weather, so they're a really good bird for Minnesota. And they're a little bit quieter than our other birds. And they'll follow you right around. They're a good chicken. These guys are our big red broiler chickens. They're meat birds only, which is why they grow so big. They're a very friendly breed. We haven't had any problems with them. They'll let you pick them up and hold them. And they're a really sweet bird. So it's a little unfortunate that we're gonna eat them. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and if you want to learn more about chickens, check out this video right here, and thanks for watching.